Just what are the chances that you would get an email telling you that your social security number has been suspended and you would get a letter in the mail telling you the exact same thing on the same day? Well, it happened to one of your fellow News 2 viewers, so let's take a look. Here's the email sent on March the 3rd. The from is similar to Social Security, so you might just glance over it and really just start reading, but don't. I want you to stop. I want you to really look at the address. The Social Security Administration does not use Gmail. This is not an official address. Now, let's take a look at the letter because it appears official with that logo at the top of the screen, a case number, even a social security seal in the middle of the page. But again, what I'm going to tell you is I want you to stop and really look at it just like the email because there are giveaways like, for instance, the date that you see. You would never put March 03 and then third. That's a scammer red flag for sure. Then there's this to plead yourself. That's a weird way to say anything. And then these very small details, the scammers hoping you'll just overlook. And this number two, I Googled it. It did not come up as Social Security. In fact, it's linked to a whole lot of random people and IP addresses on Google. The scammers, they want you to concentrate on the crazy stuff that's in this letter or the email, not those small red flag giveaways. Their hope is you're going to be so upset you won't don't even think straight. We're all in a heightened emotional state. They know that they take advantage of the headlines and they convince us that there's a problem and we have to solve it by paying. Well, two wants to know's advice on this. Never call the number on the letter or click the link. Never, never, never. Instead, I want you to look up the number, the website, the account for yourself from your own paperwork, your card or your app. And remember, payment by gift card or cryptocurrency, it is always a scam. Let me add this down here. I don't want you to miss it. Only use third party cash apps like Venmo, Cash App and Zelle with people that you know personally.